Receive my instructions. The winner of this. Protect yourselves at all times. I want you to touch gloves now. Man, you're boxing the bell. God bless you both. Touch gloves. And Steve really at around 180 pounds in his fight so far. Gets a lot of power in short punches for Turbiev. Yeah, a lot like Kovalev, it's the timing, isn't it? That's what that you're up against a rigid fighter here. You can punch, plenty of lateral movement, plenty of moving away from that right hand. As mentioned, he beat Sergei Kovalev twice in the amateurs. They were teammates, international teammates, trained, sparred together. Doesn't really allow himself to be drawn too much on the subject of corner clog and know where to go. Yeah. Well, catches a left hand from Cloud there. The right hand over the top there from Vitoriev. And just letting that left hand go and then a right as well. And he's got Cloud trapped here and Cloud is down onto a knee. 40 seconds left in the first round. Vitoriev ushered into a neutral corner. Good seconds left in the round. Can Vitoriev finish now? He showed good finishing instincts in his career so far. And he could be about to get Cloud out of here in the very first round. And he goes down again. 20 seconds to go on his back, looking straight at the referee. He's back on to his feet, getting no time left in the round, so he will make it to the end of the first round here to Boris Cloud, but the nightmare experience he had here against Adonis Stevenson is continuing against Maturbiev, and he's gone down at the end of the first round again. He goes down to a knee, and the referee will count. He cannot be saved by the bell, of course, and he will rise, I'm sure of that, but he'll have to get back onto his stool and reassess here maybe and see how much he wants this, see whether he wants to continue or not. That right hand's hurting there, but watch his little, watch his little inside cuffing shots there. <laughs> this shot she's don't bother people, but close struggling for that, didn't know where to go, dazed and confused. As I said, they don't travel far, but there's so much purchase yeah. behind them. You look at the, the shape, you look at the physique, the he's ripped to an bell. absolute shred in there, and to be honest with you, he stalks his prey, he cuts down the ring pretty well actually, and then he lets those punches go. And how has Cloud managed to recover? And that is an absolutely jolting left hand from Baturbiev. You can see the head snap back, and he starts to unload again here. And surely Cloud cannot last too much longer. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches. He's trying to throw back, but to no avail, and he goes down again. This time flat on his stomach, and really, does he want to take any more of this? Four, five, the referee's continuing six, the count, and I think seven, he may well have had enough. Eight, I think he's going to sit nine, this one out. Ten, and Tavoris Cloud is down and out. Artur Baturbiev has got his sixth professional win. This one, though, is not against the journeyman. It's him out in two rounds, and with ease, literally with ease. And Cole was trying to fight back, but I think that was his, that was his undoing, really. Trying to fight back, leaving gaps then for, for Turbia, who just, just walked through him like a train. And no, to step up step up at world level, your sixth fight, to fight a former world champion, a world class fighter in your sixth fight. And all I'm thinking, he waited so long. <laughs> he could have done that, he could have boxed him in his second fight, he thought. He, he's tremendous. But what a division, it's like heavyweight division at the moment. It's all of a sudden, they're doing monsters, aren't they? Well, Jean Pascal was up in the ring congratulating him. Maybe that's a fight he can watch. Jean Pascal does not duck fighters. The winner of this bout by knockout at 38 seconds of the second round. And new NABA light heavyweight champion, Arthur Baturbiev. Well, it was a 